So, you want to make a big old hole in your van's roof. Well, here's the quick guide how to do it. First of all, protection. Eye protection and floor protection at a minimum. You're going to make a lot of small metal shards. You do not want them in your eyes. You probably don't want them on a finished floor or any furniture around as well. I would also recommend a full face shield if you have it, just because I don't like metal on my face in general anyway. Once you've done that, it's then time to measure and make sure you've got the exact location good. I recommend blue painter's tape or similar. Use pencil marks, double check your measurements, make sure it's in the right place. Third, don't cut yet, practice. You're gonna cut a piece of roof out, you're gonna throw away. It means that you can use it and just do whatever you want with it. In this case, you can make test drill points and test jigsaw cuts to get a feel for the tool. So practice first before you cut. Once you're confident, then you can go for the cut. Start at each corner of the particular shape with a small drill bit and step up four or five drill bits one at a time till you get to a hole big enough to slide the jigsaw blade up through. Once you've got that in all four corners, you can take your jigsaw, make sure it's a nice fine tooth blade and the jigsaw's on a high speed, you're cutting through metal after all, and then try and make a pretty straight line along your edge. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight because chances are you'll hide this behind a ceiling whatever you're installing, but try and be a bit more careful than rushed. You only really get one chance of this. Each cut you make, put a piece of tape over the cut, bridging the gap to the roof and the piece of metal. This is so when you make the fourth and final cut, it does not fall on your head and hurt you. So remember, tape is important. Once you've got that, well, congratulations, you've got a hole. I hope you feel good about it. Now, crucially, you've got bare exposed sheet metal where you made your cut. And one rule is if you ever expose sheet metal, you have to paint it to prevent rust. So get some primer, get some paint, and then prime and paint your sheet metal and make sure it's encapsulated. At least two coats of paint is good. Put some clear coat on as well if you really wanna go for it. But either way, just make sure there's no exposed metal left anymore. When you've got that, you can then finally install your item. Take it and then crucially, you wanna waterproof it. So get some butyl rubber. This is a squishy rubber, layer it under the item. And so when you secure it down using say sheet metal screws, it will compress and form an initial waterproof seal. And then secondly, once you've screwed it down, take silicone or maybe a lap sealant and then run a bead of that around the outside as a secondary barrier using a gloved finger to smooth it out, and make it look nice and pretty. And that in a nutshell is how to make a big old hole in the roof of your vehicle. One last tip, if you do have any screws poking out through the ceiling inside the vehicle, encapsulate them in spray foam or insulation for safety. No one wants bare screws that they can drag their head on going around inside. If you want more information like this, you can go and look at my full episode on the roof of my van build. Otherwise, good luck and I'll see you around.